500 meters in 15 minutes, 0.3 miles in imperial units. There is no way she's actually been using this treadmill. All of us could read between the lines when she announced she wouldn't use it on live streams anymore. But 15 minutes to walk 500 meters? It's so slow that my brain has a hard time visualizing it. Wow, I don't believe her numbers to begin with, but let's play devil's advocate and pretend they're true. A five pounds gain in a mere week at her size? She must have been eating non-stop. Okay guys, I made my breakfast. Classic foodie. Make your way in video into a mukbang. Wonder why she's packing on the pounds. So I have, there are three, the eggs are very, very small. They're not large, so I made three. Scrambled with a cheese slice, a little bit of butter on the toast, multi-grain toast. Some uh, tomato, a small tomato with some cheese. It's almost like, it's like a feta cheese. And some olives, grilled olives. And I have a water and a coffee. I just use instant um, Lavazza brand. And I put two teaspoons of sugar and some unsweetened chocolate almond breeze. I was using my sugar-free flavored syrup, but I can't do it. I, I don't know. It just, it gives me a headache and makes me really thirsty. So I'm, a, I'm allowing myself, like I'm trying to keep it under six teaspoons of sugar a day. So two in my coffee, I have one coffee a day, so. Of course the diabetic kicks off the day with a sugary morning coffee. I'd be less concerned about that headache from sugar-free sweeteners and more worried about losing our foot to diabetes. And I have my vitamins and my pills that I have to take with food. So let's have a first sip of coffee of the day. It's always the best. Bismillah. Beauty sip. Okay, let's try these tomatoes with cheese. I love this. And oh, and there's there's also some za'atar on it. Now, I'll eat this and then maybe a couple hours later, it's like a part two breakfast. I'll have like a bowl of my Special K red berries, which is not sweet at all. It's very low in sugar. Right, a couple hours later. We all know you're hiding a bowl underneath the table. Oh my gosh. I think two eggs would have been enough actually. I have a new relationship with eggs. So while I'm having breakfast, I thought I would talk about how I've been doing this week. Because it's weigh-in Wednesday. I plan to weigh in every Wednesday regardless of how I'm doing. Because I think it's important. I took my fake nose ring out. It's annoying. I think it's important to hold myself accountable. So I'm holding myself accountable. So I've basically been on the right track since I came back from Thailand. September 20, um, yeah, September 29th. I've been on track more than off. So the past three days i've been overeating to gain five pounds you need to eat 17,500 calories more than your regular intake she claims that came from three days of overeating bs i had a feeling that i would have gained a little bit back and i'm relieved it's not more than that because i i knew it was weigh-in day today and i kept dreaming when i was sleeping last night that oh my gosh you know you say you're relieved to only have gained five pounds in three days of overeating? How much have you been eating to be convinced it'd be more than that? I'm right back up to 166 kg. From when I weighed in at the doctors, I was 166. And my diabetes was just out of control. That time I went to the doctors last year, I weighed 166 kg. My blood sugars were like 23, 24. They had to give me emergency insulin. Listen to all these mental gymnastics. She's trying to make it sound like she accomplished something great when in reality she negated all her recent progress. So much for being accountable. And now my blood sugars are consistently between 8.0 and 8.5 mmol. Which is still elevated but still an improvement from before. I put a lot of chilies in my eggs. Whew. So to keep encouraging myself to be right back on track, which I am today, you saw I did my treadmill already. How can you call yourself back on track when you haven't even finished your breakfast? Not just breakfast, but breakfast part one as you called it. And I'm going to be going out today, so I'll be walking around more. 
but I've still come, you know, a good ways. And I also feel non-scale victories. There's a shirt that I got back in Canada that I almost didn't bring back with me the last time because it was tight and it didn't cover much, you know? And my, my tummy was showing when I was wearing it. It was just tight around down here. So now it just falls more loosely and stuff like that, you know? So I'm trying not to put too much of my mental health into the scale. In my opinion, that's exactly what she should be doing. Instead of patting yourself on the back and congratulating yourself for failing, you need to face the reality and get to work. But I still do think it's important just to weigh in, just, you know, to see where I'm at. So, um, it's a bit disappointing. I'm not surprised. I've been off track for like three days. It was just a slippery slope and it's hard to catch myself and you know, usually I go on a much bigger bender, you know, start ordering all kinds of things. I still haven't ordered any fast food. We'll see what happens next week. Hopefully this week will be a completely on track week. I have to also go easy on myself for my own mental health reasons because in the sense that, you know, don't let myself get too down about it and just keep going because, you know, slip ups are gonna happen when you're fighting an eating disorder, food addiction, and bad habits also for like 30 years or like 20, whatever. It's bound to happen. I take a multivitamin. This is OBU brand. It's about 20, between 20, $25. Take two a day. I've got to refill my pill thing. It's already been a week. So yeah, it's been, um, the past three days have been really, really tough. I'm not gonna lie. And I could already tell just by one day not doing the treadmill, I'm finding that the exercise, like it helps, it's been helping my skin, I believe. My skin looks glowing after sweating buckets and working out. And also like I, you, the endorphins, I'm so much happier and more energetic. So starting my day off fasting and doing the treadmill, you know, hopefully it sets me up for a good, you know, revs up my metabolism for the day. What I was having the most most difficulty with is just overeating, having an extra meal, an extra snack, but not nearly as bad as I would if I normally would be off track before. This was, you know, off track light in comparison. That's where I'm at. So yeah, if I'm feeling a bit hungry later, I plan to have a bowl of cereal with some low fat milk and maybe a grapefruit. We'll see after that. Um, I would like to do some what I eat in day videos maybe. So we'll see those coming, but. Anyway, I guess that's it. Bye.